I know you guys are going to love this question. So you invest $23,000 in an account that earns 5% interest compounded continuously. And how long does it take until the balance is $28,445.62? Right, this is going to be a lot of fun, right? So here's what we're going to do. Naturally, we're going to start with our equation. Uh, again, since this is an investing problem, let's stick with A is equal to P times E to the RT. This is for continuous compounding. And here's what I'm not going to do just yet. Now, normally what you would do is that you would plug in, you'd plug in your values. So this right here is your principal, so that's P. This right here is your final value, that's A. And this, of course, is going to end up being your R. And the question is, how long, how long does it take? Which means, what is the value for time? And normally you would just plug everything in and do the math, but I don't want to have to write some of these numbers over and over again, especially the uh, P and the A, so I'm going to leave them as they are. I'm going to write it like this that A is equal to P times E to the rate, which is 0.05 T. Now, I know that A and P are still kind of variables, but we already know that they are just placeholders for these values that we already have in the problem. So let's take this and let's solve this for T, right? Just like we've done before. I'm going to divide by P, which in my mind, I know that P is 23,000, but I don't want to have to keep writing 23,000. And it's not like the other problems where it's going to reduce with A, because this guy is gross. So A over P equals E to the 0.05T. And just as we've done, in order to bring this variable out in front so we can actually do something with it, we're going to take the natural log of both sides. So we have the natural log of a over P, which of course is nasty over nasty, don't want to worry about that, gross, gross, gross. Here, this is going to reduce to give us 0.05T. And now one last, last little step to get T by itself, divide by 0 0.05. All right, so, that means that T is exactly equal to this guy right here. But now we know what A and P are, so we got to actually work that out. Well, I say we, and by we I mean the graphing calculator, right? So A is 28,400. 45 and 62 cents divided by P your initial investment which was 23,000 all divided by 0 0.05 so let's see how long does it take to grow to this incredibly precise value that they gave us and by they I mean me right so let's see we have natural log of big fraction here so 28,445 and 62 cents divided by 23,000 so that closes off the parentheses closes off the group for the natural log and then we divide by 0 0.05 and we come up with this value so we're talking about time being measured in years so let's make sure that we round appropriately time is approximately equal to, well, that's really close to saying 4.25. We can see that's a really good place to round to the nearest hundredths. Even if we rounded to the nearest thousandths, it would still be 4.25. And so really what that means for us is that it means that you will reach this particular value after four years and three months because that 0.25 of a year corresponds to three months. So you could expect to walk in, check your bank statement after four years and three months ago. Sweet! It's exactly what I wanted. $28,445.62, right? Living the life.